Have you ever wondered just how big the universe really is? Consider this. The universe, in its unfathomable vastness, is a cosmic canvas painted with galaxies far larger than anything within our own solar system. Now picture this. The smallest known galaxy, a minuscule speck in the cosmic sea, holding only about a thousand stars. It's like a tiny island village compared to the bustling metropolis of larger galaxies. And yet even this microcosm of a galaxy is colossal when compared to our own solar system. But the universe doesn't stop at galaxies. Within these galaxies, we find globular clusters, dense spherical collections of stars. Despite their high stellar densities, they contain merely a few hundred stars per cubic light year, a testament to the sheer scale of the universe. Galaxies, like the countless stars they hold, come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Some are spiral, like our Milky Way, or elliptical, like the enormous Messier 87. Others are irregular, their forms distorted by the gravitational pulls of their neighbors. Each one is a unique cosmic fingerprint, a distinct pattern in the grand tapestry of the universe. From the smallest known galaxy to the largest, the universe is a vast expanse of galaxies and stars, each more fascinating than the last. Each one a testament to the universe's grandeur, a silent tribute to the cosmos and its infinite capacity for wonder. Each galaxy is a story waiting to be told, a mystery waiting to be unraveled. So let's embark on this cosmic journey together, exploring these celestial wonders that fill our universe. The universe is a vast expanse of galaxies and stars, each more fascinating than the last. Our home, the Milky Way, is but a speck in the cosmic ocean. It's an expansive galaxy, stretching over 100,000 light years across, with a stellar population reaching into the hundreds of billions. Yet, when we compare it to our nearest galactic neighbor, the Andromeda, we find ourselves dwarfed by its majesty. Andromeda, standing proud and dominant, is approximately double the size of our Milky Way. With a diameter of around 200,000 light years, it boasts a stellar population that significantly outnumbers ours. It's a testament to the grandeur and diversity of the cosmos, a reminder of how vast and varied the universe can be. But the universe isn't just a collection of static celestial bodies. It's a dynamic, ever-evolving tapestry, with galaxies interacting and influencing one another in a cosmic dance. As these galaxies interact, they can become tidally disrupted, resulting in enormous tails that stretch out into the dark void of space, like the one seen in the tadpole galaxy, measuring a staggering 280,000 light years long. These phenomena, the Milky Way, Andromeda, and interacting galaxies paint a picture of a universe that's constantly in motion, constantly changing. They offer us a chance to marvel at the beauty and complexity of the cosmos and to appreciate our place within it. These cosmic giants are just a glimpse into the universe's incredible vastness. They remind us that we are part of a much larger, much grander narrative, a narrative that's written in the stars and galaxies that fill the night sky. So, the next time you look up at the stars, remember, you're not just looking at distant lights, you're looking at the grand story of the cosmos, a story in which we all have a part to play. The universe holds galaxies that dwarf even the Milky Way and Andromeda. Let's turn our gaze toward UGC 2885, the largest spiral galaxy discovered so far. This astronomical titan measures in at an astonishing 800,000 light years in diameter. To put that into perspective, it's like stacking our Milky Way eight times side by side. Picture that, folks. It's a cosmic behemoth that's a testament to the unfathomable scales at which the universe operates. But the universe doesn't stop there. Oh no, it gets grander. Let's talk about elliptical galaxies, the largest of all galaxies. Take Messier 87, for instance. It's a celestial giant spanning 980,000 light years. And then there's NGC 4889 in the Coma Cluster measuring a whopping 1.3 million light years in diameter. Imagine a city of stars that vast. These galaxies are like cities compared to the small towns of our Milky Way and Andromeda. But wait, there's more. The crown for the largest known galaxy goes to IC 1101. Nestled in the Abel 2029 cluster, IC 1101 boasts a diameter of a mind-boggling 5.5 million light years. That's like taking a road trip across the United States from coast to coast, not once, not twice, but over 2,000 times. Such a journey across IC 1101 would be the ultimate space odyssey. These immense galaxies truly put into perspective the size of the universe. And remember, we're still only scratching the surface. 
The cosmos is a treasure trove of celestial wonders, each more mind-boggling than the last. So buckle up, space enthusiasts, because our journey into the depths of the universe is just getting started. The universe is not just a random scattering of galaxies, it's a complex, interconnected web. Think of galaxies as bright, sparkling cities of stars. Now imagine these cities grouped together in vast provinces known as galaxy clusters. Each cluster, a buzzing metropolis of galaxies, can contain hundreds to thousands of them. But the universe doesn't stop there. These clusters are themselves parts of larger structures known as superclusters. Picture this, superclusters as continents in the cosmic geography made up of galaxy clusters, the bustling cities. Now this cosmic continent is immense, housing not just one or two, but over 100,000 galaxy clusters. And all these structures, from galaxies to superclusters, are all interconnected by thin threads, invisible to the naked eye, called galactic filaments. These filaments, often referred to as the cosmic web, are like the highways of the universe, connecting clusters and superclusters. In a fascinating twist, they share a striking resemblance to the network of nerve connections in the human brain, known as the connectomy. This is a curious similarity, considering the vast difference in scale, but it's a testament to the beautiful complexity of both the universe and our own brains. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. The universe isn't static, it's constantly expanding, and its expansion is accelerating. This makes it a dynamic, ever-evolving network of galaxies, unlike our brains. Yet, in spite of these differences, the structural parallels between the cosmic web and our brain's connectomy are compelling enough to make us ponder about the universe's intricate design. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember that you're not just looking at a random assortment of twinkling lights. You're witnessing part of a vast, interconnected network of galaxies, clusters, and superclusters linked by cosmic filaments. The universe, like our brains, is a vast, interconnected network of galaxies. Could the universe be more than just a collection of galaxies and stars? Picture this. The universe not as we know it but as a massive network, akin to the intricate web of connections in the human brain. Just as our minds are a complex labyrinth of neural pathways, could the universe too be linked through a network of galactic filaments? This idea isn't as far-fetched as it might sound. The universe houses around 200 billion galaxies, forming clusters and superclusters, all interconnected by what we call galactic filaments. The distribution of matter in this cosmic expanse mirrors the nerve connections in our brains. While these structural similarities are intriguing, it's important to remember the differences as well. For instance, the universe is constantly expanding and at an accelerating pace, quite unlike our brains. Signals traverse our neural pathways at a pace much slower than the speed of light. But considering the vastness of the universe, these signals would take an eternity to cross. But what if there were shortcuts? The concept of non-local connections in the universe, akin to quantum entanglement and wormholes, suggests the presence of tiny portals connecting distant places. Now, we don't have concrete evidence for this, but it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility either. Imagine the universe as an entity with its own intelligence. This idea, while speculative, aligns with our current understanding of the cosmos. These speculations, while unproven, open our minds to new possibilities of understanding our existence in the universe. Our journey through the universe comes to an end, but the exploration does not have to stop here. There's an entire cosmos waiting to be discovered, from the smallest known galaxy with merely a thousand stars to the largest one spanning five and a half million light years. Can you imagine the wonders that lie beyond? So keep stargazing, keep questioning, and let's unravel the mysteries of the universe together, one galaxy at a time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to continue this cosmic journey together.